Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I've got another Two Minute Tuesday Tuesday Tip collaboration with the AutoCAD blog. Uh, I'll be putting a link to the full article in the description below. Uh, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at using the Express tools to import or export attributes of blocks. Uh, this will put in or out a text file uh, full of block attributes that can be edited then in a spreadsheet editor like Excel or uh, in the example today I'm going to use LibreOffice Calc uh, which is a free spreadsheet uh, editor similar to Excel. Uh, if you guys like this tip or any of the tips on the channel don't forget to check out my productivity webinar. Uh, there's a deal on it right now for subscribers. I'll put the link in the description and uh, up above. Uh, so make sure you guys check it out. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to try and keep this quick and under two minutes, even though we all know that's probably not going to happen, but I'm going to keep it quick and to the point. So in AutoCAD, if we go over to the Express Tools ribbon tab, uh, you can see we've got the option over here to import attributes or export attributes. Uh, you can also use the command ATT out or ATT in uh, to make that through the command line if you prefer. So what it's going to do is gonna, it's going to take the attribute uh, fields from every selected block and it's going to let us select them uh, and export them to a text file. Uh, this allows us to then open this up in uh, a text editor, whether it's Notepad, Excel, whatever. Uh, and then you can make changes to them. You can simply just save them for reference. You can export them for parts list, uh, counts. Uh, it's kind of up to you how you use the data. One trick that I like to use is to edit a bunch of attributes of multiple blocks at once. Uh, it's a lot easier to do that in Excel. So what I'll do is I'll ex export them all, uh, open them up in Excel, make my changes, import them back in, and it'll automatically update the block. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. So to start, we're going to click the export attribute button up top here, or you can use the ATT out command in the command line. It's going to give us a dialog box asking where we'd like to save our attribute text file. I'm going to put it in this example folder where I've already saved another example. I'm just going to call this one two uh, for my second example and hit save. From here, we now need to select the objects that we want to export their attributes for. So this is any blocks in the drawing uh, or objects. I'm just going to select all of my blocks right here, hit enter, and you can see it's doing something in the background. If we pull up our uh, dialog box here, you can see that it's output the file and given us the path. So I've got it open on the other screen here. So when I bring this over, you can see uh, each column has a description at the top telling you the type of attribute data that's below. So it's got the handle. These ones you don't want to change because these link it to the block uh, within AutoCAD. But for everything else, you can change it up. Um, in our example, I'm going to change a bunch of these symbol numbers and save a copy of this file so that we can then import it back into AutoCAD. And it's not going to change anything else about the uh, blocks. It's simply going to renumber them based on how I want them numbered in my Excel sheet. But you can see it's also exported out all the other attributes, including height, style, a reference number, the manufacturer, uh, in this case, it's mostly windows that were the blocks we were using, uh, as well as the unit price or cost and the default width of the uh, block to go along with the height. So you can see how this could be helpful, uh, allowing us to quickly modify huge amounts of blocks, uh, synchronizing them to a parts list or just getting counts. You can order them in Excel. Uh, you can pull data, use equations. Uh, can be super helpful. So once you're finished with this, you want to save as. Uh, I've made some changes and I'll grab the uh, changed one here. I've called it export attribute example modified 
And you can see the uh, main thing I've modified here are the symbol numbers. So this is gonna change our numbering within the drawing when I import it based on the block ID or handle. So you can see I've changed this to a bunch of threes along the top and then just a bunch of eights so that you can see that I've changed these. So when you're finished, save your Excel. Um, these are all in the uh, space delimited format. So if you are importing it and it asks you, uh, you can confirm by choosing space delimited. So now that we're back in our CAD drawing, uh, you can simply use the at in, A-T-T in, or import attribute button up here to bring our file back in. So we've made changes to the modified text file. Again, you, you can save these under whatever names you want. Uh, I like to do a save as once I've edited it in case I want to go back to the uh, original or revert uh, the block information. So I'm going to choose modified and hit open. And you can see that the numbering, these were twos and threes, are now changed automatically. Nothing else has changed, but it's simply swapped out the attributes that I changed in Excel, and it's reflected that in our drawing. So again, this can save you hours, if not more, uh, just by editing blocks, but it can also help you when you need to export information uh, for, like I said, parts lists, price lists, uh, takeoffs, quantities, or just records. Uh, so there you go. That's today's Two Minute Tuesday. If you'd like to learn more or read the article, make sure you guys check out the uh, blog post. I'll link it below when it goes live on the AutoCAD blog, uh, likely sometime in November. Uh, and if you're interested in more tips, tricks, and productivity tips, uh, check out my webinar. Uh, I'll put the link up above again, and it's also in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on the video. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.